Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Integration Ninjas. In this video, I will be talking about GitHub Actions. So let's start with introduction. What is GitHub Actions? It helps you to automate tasks within your software development lifecycle. These are event driven means you can run a series of commands after a specified event has occurred. For example, every time someone creating a pull request for a repository, you can automatically run a command that executes a software testing script whether this pull request changes are fine or not or it can be any issue event or a push event as well like someone pushing to main branch so let's see what are key components of github actions so github actions will be having workflows events jobs steps actions and runners github actions there will be a workflow file which will be triggered on a specific event and each workflow will contain n number of jobs and each job will have a number of steps that will perform some action and each job will run on a specific runner. So workflow is nothing but a configurable automated process that will run one or more jobs and a job is a set of steps in a workflow that is executed on same manner. Each step is either a shell script that will be executed or an action that will be run. Since each step is executed on same runner, the data can be transferred from one step to another. It is possible. And actions. These are like custom application for GitHub Actions platform that performs a complex but frequently repeated task. You can write your own actions or find it from marketplace. We will be using some common actions that you can also use. You will use the action checkout that is a very common to check out the source code into your specific runner. And let's talk about the runners. Runners is nothing but a server that runs your workflow when they are triggered on a specific event. Each runner can run a single job at a time. Runners can be self-hosted or GitHub hosted as well. GitHub also provides uh, runners. Uh, these are limited to use, but we can use it. And we can use all self-hosted machines like my machine also I can use as a runner. Let's try it. How we can integrate a workflow file, integrate GitHub actions into our code. Okay, so this is my sample project a graph sample application this there is nothing but uh, i have created a server.js file which is having some api and I have detailed information and if you see this package.json also there we will having a simple things for graphql no other no more dependencies only express and graphql so we'll run uh, npm like we will install it and will run npm run test that will be failed because of no test case we have specified we'll install the dependency so how we can integrate github actions first this we have to go to the actions tab we can create a new workflow set up a workflow yourself and if we click see this this will be created under our repository there will be dot github directory and under that workflows directory and under that one workflow file we have to create i will name it as main.yaml only so how to use this syntax for this we have to name our workflow i will name this workflow as a ci cd for now and when this will workflow will be triggered so for that i will define some events i will define on push event when on which branch i will add branches i will add branches main or master on each both branches it can be triggered and i will add jobs now i will add a job which is a job suppose and which will be running on github hosted runner for now i will create a separate video to use self hosted runner one to latest i will use which is a github 
poster runner for Linux systems. Now I will add number of steps. Steps will contain actions. So I will add some steps which is having first of all I want to check out source in my Ubuntu latest server. So for that I have will use a action from the GitHub only that is a uh, actions slash checkout at 2003 if you sorry this is a typo mistake here you can see this i have used this action slash checkout this provided by kita we can you can see this how it will be look like uses checkout version 3 with repository anything these are optional things we'll use a version and what else we will do now we will install node.js since it's a npm project we will use a node.js 16.x suppose and i will use another action here which is provided by like a, it's a other available in the marketplace setup node i will use this and i will provide a version this is the way like name users we will use the action we can use any action we can pick it from marketplace you can see this setup node.js environment we can simply use this action setup node i will use the same thing setup node we'll use this version 3 with a specific node version i will suppose i will be using 16.x for now Okay, now after doing this, I will add one more step to build this project like uh, install dependency. You can see, I will simply run a npm install here, or I will run a command here. npm install and i will run one more command which will i know it will fail but test project i will use simply npm test which will run that script sorry i have to use run here since it's a command okay so let's see how this action will look like this workflow will be ci cd and build job will be there main workflow file i will put a comment message and this should be picked up by the ubuntu latest runner if you see this ci cd workflow and build job and action is triggered on ubuntu latest if you see this first action is performed checking out the source code then setup node.js this is also done and install dependency we have run npm install which has been added all the packages there and we have run which we know that will fail like uh, no is specified and test exit one we have in this package.json so this is the way like uh, these are the common that will be performed cleaning operations post checkout source will be performed on the end of the workflow so this is the way you can simply integrate github action into your project a workflow file you need to create and you have to define a job and set of steps i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave a comment below and i will be happy to answer them so give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content related to software integrations we'll see you in the next video where we will set up a self-hosted runner Thank you everyone.